What's going on everybody? Adam here and I'm super excited for today's video. We're going to be looking at a brand new song from a brand new band that I've never heard before. We're looking at Testimony of Apocalypse and their new song Ghost right here on Sanctify Studios. All right, guys. Well, there has been a lot of changes going on in my life right now. So I just want to give a heads up that I apologize for the lack of videos coming out as soon as I'd like for them to. Um, as you can tell, yes, the hair has been cut. Nate Parrish, you win. Darn it. <laughs> the hair has been cut. So uh, I'm starting over. I'm still going to be going for long hair. Uh, but I wanted to start over, start fresh, and make sure I've got a little bit more party in the back for all of our uh, future concerts that are coming up. And that's one of the announcements that I want to make. One of the awesome things that happened uh, that I think I mentioned in the last video, um, Classic Disaster has a chance to open up for Convictions, Cultists, Confessions of a Traitor, at the uh, aggressive worship tour that's coming through Chain Reaction, Anaheim, California on August 16th. So we've been preparing for that. We've got um, Jordan Jimenez from Unworthy. He's coming in and filling in on bass for us so that we just have a party up there on stage. And it's going to be so awesome that all of these brothers in Christ are going to come together, the Christian metal, the heavy, you know, the heavy rock and metal Christian loving community is going to be all there at Chain Reaction. And so it's just going to be a good time. If you're in the area and you'd like to buy tickets, you can go to the link tree that's in the description down below. And if you want to help us out with the pre-sale tickets, all these other guys already have everything taken care of. But if you'd like to help Classic Disaster with our pre-sale tickets, you can go to that link where it says buy the ticket and make sure that you choose Classic Disaster in the drop down. On top of all that, I have a baby coming in about a month. And so the due date is September 15th. Uh, and so we are like not knowing exactly the day. So we're like, woo, we're planning, preparing, you know, making sure the house is ready, all that fun stuff. And so not as much time devoted to this, but I want to make sure that I'm still consistent with this. I want to make sure that you guys are still uh, getting encouraged by all these amazing artists who are putting out amazing Christian rock and metal and even some of the other contemporary Christian stuff that I am trying to get to more and more. But there have been a lot, a lot of Christian rock and metal releases this last month. And so we are going to be diving into those starting with uh, Testimony of Apocalypse. So before we get into that, though, if you'd like to do me a huge favor, leave this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when new videos arrive and go ahead and leave uh, a comment down below and let me know some of the bands that you would like to listen to, some of the bands you'd like for me to check out and react to. Um, we are we're casting a wide net here, okay? We got deathcore stuff, death metal stuff, regular metal stuff, rock stuff. I just did the John Christ reaction to his parody, you know, contemporary Christian video. Thousand Foot Crutch is back, and you better believe that there's going to be more conversations surrounding those releases. Um, and then uh, I'm st we're still putting out uh, our Disciple and NF reactions to their albums. Big uh, favorites for Elijah and I, and so we are going to make sure that we do that for you guys. Uh, but today... We are going to be looking at uh, Rocks Records band. I believe Rocks Records is local to where I'm at. I think they're near LA or somewhere Pasadena. I think they're in Pasadena. And so, um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I've never heard this band, Testimony of Apocalypse. And we are checking out the song Ghost. <laughs> nice little intro here. This is the Rocks Records intro. All right. Ooh. 
heavy. Great guitar solo here. I love that there's a lot of different blends of rock and metal going on here. At the sporadic moments where like it's high energy and then it kind of goes a little death metal and then it goes back to rocks. Like right here. Ooh. Really cool bass line. So good. Great line. Love that. A little different feel right here, you know, like so cool. Nice, really, really good, man. So this is Testimony of Apocalypse, and the song is Ghosts. Let me see if we've got some lyrics down here. All right, no worries, no worries. Kind of got the gist there from uh, from the song, which is super cool. Yeah, um, I, love, I love the guitar tones that were used in this song, especially since that's really the first thing that we hear is, is like these really awesome aggressive guitar tones that are coming in and then like i mentioned i love musically at least i love how the style just changes all throughout the song we've got this like this almost metal corey kind of sound coming in uh and then all of a sudden we go to like a rock sound you know and then crazy death metal sound coming in and then it just changes and then we get this awesome break in the in the bridge where it's very worshipful it's it, the bass is really shining. I loved that there were so many different changes within the song. Uh, lyric wise, really love that the the topic was focusing on uh, the change that we have within us because of the Holy Spirit within us. Can you? I think there were lyrics there that said something like, "Can you see the power that's in me now?" Let me see. Let me see if I can pinpoint. Rise up and feel the power. That's coursing through my veins. The spirit of salvation who set my heart. Who will? Who will? Let me see. Would set my heart to flames. Yeah, there we go. Against the, against the world of lies. Bringing new light so that I can see. Watching me, watching me, watching me. I love um, I love how the bridge. Let me see. What was that bridge line that I really liked? Such a mystery how you washed my sins away, and that last one set my life in motion. I'll never forget. Yeah, that's the part. I'll never forget all you've done for. And then that big scream, me. I loved it. You can see the red here at the end so to signify that that's going to be a little heavier, going to be a little scream. I really like this song really liking this band, really looking forward to hearing more of these guys. And like, you know, just kind of piggybacking off of the message of the song here, you know, I think that we we have to remember that having the Holy Spirit, we have a helper. You know, we have a helper that's within us. And we need to be able to I, I know I know that I don't want to like go too deep into this uh, conversation, but there are things that the Holy Spirit um, allows us to to do that we obviously cannot do in our own strength, right? If we were just sinners without the Holy Spirit, we would be following our flesh and we'd be following our sinful desires. 
Uh, but because of the Holy Spirit within us, we have this, this convicting conscious conscience. We have this conviction that the sanctifying um, work that's being done through the Holy Spirit within us. And then not only that, but obviously the gifts that the Holy Spirit gives us um, through our, our workings in ministry, through what we do to encourage the church, through what we do to evangelize, like that is all power given by the Holy Spirit. We should be seeing things differently. We should be uh, acting differently. We should be able to um, able to have more clarity in what God wants us to do with our lives and what he's called us to. And we should also have more clarity in what we shouldn't be doing, right? We should have anger against sin, right? Not anger against people, but anger against sin, anger against the ways of the world. We should have um, holiness, right? We, we need to be set apart from those things. And that's something that the Holy Spirit helps us to do. It convicts us. It helps to sanctify us. It helps to point us in the right direction. And those are things that we have to realize that if you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you have that. You have that. So that's a really great song to just kind of sing, to show and be like, you know, I will never forget what you've done for me. You've given me this power. I'm no longer aligned with the world. I'm, I'm aligned with you. Like I am new. I'm made new. And can you feel the power, you know, like this, this like, all right, like now I'm, I'm feeling the power of the Holy Spirit that's inside of me. And it's a cool song that just kind of has all these really cool different parts that, uh, that speak to that message. So really, really great job guys go check out testimony of apocalypse, go check out their song ghost. Um, and really like, I'm, I'm really interested too, like with all those different, um, with all those different kind of blends of genres and stuff and moments, I'm really curious to go look w to see what direction they go in for most of their songs. Are they a little softer and this is just their like heaviest song? Are they usually really heavy and this was just a little bit more blend of rock? Um, is, are they usually this, you know, diverse and dynamic in their songs and in the way that they structure their songs? And so I'm really curious to learn that. So I'm happy I found a new band and I hope that you are too. So if you did enjoy this video, then you can do me a huge favor and you can go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button and you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos arrive. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this song. Did you like the changes? Which was your favorite portion of the song? What did you think about the guitar tones? Have you heard of Testimony of Apocalypse? Are you adding ghosts to your playlist? Have you heard of Rock's records? Am I right? Are they local? Are they not local? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, guys, one of the best ways that you can support me in this channel is by supporting my band, Classic Disaster. Um, like I said, we have this really, really cool opportunity to be able to open up for convictions, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, Josh, Zach, and I are like gearing up, getting ready. Jordan's excited. So it's just going to be a really, really great time. Be in prayer honestly be in prayer for one that my baby doesn't come on the day of the concert even though the due date is a month after it's still you know anything can happen right so pray that um <laughs> pray that we don't get stuck in that kind of a kind of a problem um but also just pray for the people who are going to be going pray for the bands you know i have in my mind what might happen on that night and what i'm praying happens but ultimately it's God's will and ultimately what, what he wills to happen on that night is going to happen. And so I'm just going to be excited to be a part of it. Um, and, uh, at the show, you will be able to hear our brand new single escape that just came out yesterday. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of that at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see all those songs live and it's going to be a good time. So visit the links down below in the description for all that information and uh, yeah, guys, till next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.